was gifted to me about a year ago and it has completely changed the way that I make music. And so I just wanted to share with you guys today a little bit about how to use the remote. <laughs> What is up Yoshis? My name is Beth and I run Steadfast Descent. Today I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of how to use the Firehawk FX pedal from Line 6. Now the remote is an app that you can download onto your phone. I'm pretty sure it also works on tablets and stuff. I just use my phone because it's easier. What's handy about it is that instead of having to uh, <clears throat> read the manual and um, <clears throat> do a bunch of like random stuff in order to change the sounds that you uh, have on your pedal board, you just do it all on the app. And the app is pretty intuitive. So you download it, you open it. If you want to do anything that is going to require you to save your tones and like give you access to them later, make sure you sign in with your Line 6 account. If you don't have a Line 6 account, they're really easy to make and you can register your Firehawk FX pedal board, which will give you access to the ability to update download updates and otherwise just like stay on top of your pedal board. So once you've signed in or not signed in because you certainly don't need to sign in in order to use the remote you're going to need to connect your pedal board. On your pedal board you have a little Bluetooth button. When you click that button if it's not connected to anything it's just gonna be blinking and so in order to connect to it you're gonna need to go into your phone Bluetooth settings and find the pedal board. It should say something like Firehawk something something. Uh, you can see mine right here. Click on it, and once your phone or tablet connects to your device, the blue light should stop blinking and it should just be shining. Now this is super great because you can use now your phone to listen to music while you are playing. You just have to play it now and it's going through. Be careful with this, like for example, when I'm on worship I always make sure to turn the Bluetooth off of my phone because were I to receive a phone call in the middle of service if my phone was connected, everyone would hear because it would go through the main it would go through the mains like i mean the bluetooth is connected to the bluetooth make sure that uh for the practical applications that you may or may not want to have your remote connected to your pedal board so you can set the volume of those two things your guitar output and the overall output are just little sliders that you can choose under levels i believe it is if you need your music louder if you need it softer if you need your guitar louder you need your guitar softer so then as you go in you can see i mean the banks upon banks upon banks of preset sounds that you already have to edit a bank you basically just have to choose one and then you can tap and just get all sorts of different different stuff. There's so much to explore. There's like so many different features that you can use. So for example, if you're looking at your amp cab, you can click on it and scroll through and just choose a cab. See how it sounds. Go from there. And then you can, you know, once you've chosen your cab, there's all the different settings that you can set to change the way you want it to sound or not to sound. To assign a foot switch, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tap whatever the thing is and then assign it to a foot switch by tapping on the very bottom. If you tap on the very bottom, you can turn on and off whether or not it's attached to a foot switch. And this is very important if you ever wanna hook up a looper. I'm gonna make a separate video on how to use a looper later, but just know that you can't use the looper without the app. So if you want to use the looper feature, make sure you download the remote. <laughs> so once you've got all of your foot switches set, once you've got your sounds set the way you want them, it's awesome. You need to now save it to your device. So you can either, if you are logged in, save the tone into your personal library, and if you're not connected, or if you're not signed in, you can always save it to your Firehawk. Now, when the app first connects with the Firehawk, it syncs all of the sounds. And so if you try to save a sound before it has done all of the syncing, it will not work and you will get error messages. Okay, so once all of that is done, you just uh, press your upload button, and then you do save to my Firehawk and you choose where you want to save it to. Remember, you can override the banks that they already have, but there are three empty banks at the very end of the list. 30, 31, and 32 on a new Firehawk should be empty and you should be able to just put your presets on there. So whatever tweaking or whatever you did, you should be able to save it into a new bank. Or if you're like, <laughs> that old sound was dumb, you can replace it right exactly where it is just by sliding up choosing where you want it to be. And so you can choose it just like any other bank by tapping the up and down and then choosing whatever bank it's in. The last thing that you may or may not want to know about your sounds is that they have different volumes. Usually when you are looking at your preset, you can choose either a volume, like just straight up volume, or sometimes 
changing the gain will change the volume. I am still struggling with how to get the volumes to be even across the board, because I mean obviously if I turn the gain up then I need to turn the volume down, but how far down do I need to turn it so that it's the same as my next preset? Not 100% sure. But if you need to, if you notice that one of your sounds is just blaringly louder than the others, that is how you can fix it, and then you can save that tone onto your Firehawk and save it into your library and make sure that you have access to it. So that is just a bare bones basics on how to use the remote with your Firehawk. If you have any issues with connectivity, always make sure to go into your Bluetooth preferences and just make sure that you are connected. And then when you go into the remote, make sure that on the bottom it says your device is synced. So just refresh it, and if that doesn't work, then uh, you're going to need to ask someone who's smarter than me, because I don't know how to fix that. The Firehawk has completely changed the way that I play guitar. I find that Line 6's uh, <clears throat> payment per product ratio is just really good. For the money, you have so many options available to you, and the ability to just walk and go and like make these kind of changes on the run, it's, it's unthinkable. And I know they don't officially sell the Firehawk anymore, but I would recommend trying any of their stuff, whatever fits your price point. So if you've had any other problems with your Firehawk pedal board, or maybe with the remote app, uh, go ahead and let me know down below. I'll see if I can find an answer for you, and if I can, I'll let you know. And if I can't, I'm sorry, maybe someone else in the comments will know. And if you have made it this far, I just want to thank you so very much for watching.